Hey folks, okay, today is September 2nd, 2013, and it's day two of the canning process. So, as you can see, I started my brine. Happy Labor Day. Yeah, it is Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. Um, I took all the vegetables and I put them into all the jars that I had. And then I did my brine, which I'm almost out of. You can see that's garlic at the bottom, and I've been pouring brine in here. Um, and today I realized when I was doing my research, there's a distinct difference between canning for long term use and just canning for refrigeration. So I'm going to sp specify I am doing canning for refrigeration, like pickles and stuff that you're going to eat right away. This process is not going to work if you're trying to keep stuff for a long period of time. Um, because I realize that when you're canning stuff for a long period of time, there is a very tedious and specific process um, to be able to keep the food and also to keep your eaters from getting botulism and stuff like that. So um, this is made specifically to go into the refrigerator. So what I did, like I said, is I put all of the vegetables um, in the jar. I boiled my brine, and then since there was so much, I boiled, bleh, poured the brine on top of the vegetables and I'm going to let the vegetables sit in that for about probably 15-20 minutes. Then I'm going to put the lids on and then I'm going to refrigerate them. So these are meant for refrigeration. You cannot do it this way and then try to stick them in your pantry and let them last forever because when you eat them you might die. So that's just a little <laughs> word to the wise. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, oh hold on my son wants to film so go ahead Cooper. So and what I've been doing is ladling the brine into the jars. Now, I need to make sense. So, Fooper, can you see all of me? Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, can you see me too? Okay. All right, so I'm pouring the brine into the jars, and I'm getting to the bottom of the brine. So, I see it takes a lot of brine for this much vegetable because the original recipe was three quarters of a cup of water, three quarters of a cup of vinegar, three tablespoons sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one clove of garlic. I did four times that recipe, and that still only got me through a quarter of my jar. So I'm looking at probably maybe 16 cups of brine is what I'm going to need to fill all these jars. But I have like, what, 12, 13? I have a lot of jars. I have like 16 jars. So... I'm going to have to make some more brine, which is not a problem. Luckily, it's super easy. And again, you boil the brine first, and that gets everything mixed together. And I did more, you know, adding sugar is going to give you more of a sweeter um, base or a sweeter brine. And because I kind of wanted something that was in between the two. So I'm going to make some more brine, and then I'm going to put all of... Let this everything sit, put the lids on, refrigerate them, and then basically start giving them away to people to kind of see what they think. This is my first batch, so I don't expect them to be perfect. I almost wish I would have added a little bit more sugar, which I might do. I might add like a teaspoon of sugar to each individual jar because that sugarness makes a difference. Yeah, I'm going to add a little more sugar. So that's it for now. When I have everything all glassed up, I will um, check in again and show you what they look like. Okay, bye-bye. You can press stop now. Did you stop? <laughs> Let's see. No, you're still recording. You gotta love us. Like I said, we're the best camera people in the world. All right, bye. Aww. You gonna say bye? Peace.